well, expansion. I see my reputation precedes me. Well, someone needs to get some answers from these people. One diplomatic incident averted. So far, so good. Go ahead and speak with the king, friend. Tell him about the threat the recollection poses to Vashabar, and about the corrupted seeds. One diplomatic... Greetings, stranger. All are welcome in Vashabar. But tell me, who enters my humble abode with Baragon, the hero of Ninglinir Pass? And what was that about a danger to our unassuming town? The recollection? Yes, we have heard of this new order, but it has nothing to do with Vashabar. Do you really expect to find such violent agitators in this peaceful hamlet? Greenspeaker Sorlin helped us settle Dawnwood and build our town, but I haven't seen her in weeks. I assumed she had done her part and returned to Valenwood. Not everyone is prepared to break away from the familiar and start anew. A wild burn seed? I've never heard of such a thing. But then again, I'm not a green speaker or a spinner. And what did Derelith make of this strange seed? I know she's been trying to determine how our Dawnwood came to be. Does she suspect a connection? That's not far from Hoperoot, our new settlement. Count Calantius has refused our offers of cooperation, so I cannot assist you directly. But if you learn anything more that you feel I should know, find me at Hoperoot. Hoperoot lies to the north of Vashabar, just before you enter the devastated region. I'll be there, supervising the establishment of our next settlement. Good luck to you, adventurer. Are you really a king? King. I am the leader of the Dawnwood settlements of Vashabar and Hoperoot. The Bosmer I lead wanted no further part in the endless struggle for the Imperial throne. So when the Green extended the forest north into Westweald, I sought it aside. Okay, so they are kind of taking no part of the war again. The lands between Skingrad and Kvach were all but abandoned after the troubles of the last decade. The Strid Vale was a frontier ready to be settled. When the Green extended the forest, I led my people out of Sylvanar to build a new home here. I am the son of a noble family of Sylvanar, House Rill. Under the Second Empire, we ruled with little interference from Cyrodiil or Elden Root. Many elves still remember those days with fondness. I accepted this crown when the people offered it to me. All are welcome in Dawnwood, no matter their beliefs. Some follow the Green Pact, others seek a new path, the Dawnway. You know, the roots of the Dawnway are all around us. Which is why I think the Green provided this new forest and led us here. Were you not aware that we stand upon the realms of the Saliak? You may call them aliens. They are the ancestors of my people. The ruins all around are not their legacy. No, their legacy are the Bosma. Alien blood runs through our veins. So they believe. Like many Bosma, I am acquainted with the heroic tales of Baragon Sharp Dagger. I spotted him in our town recently and made sure to refresh myself on his exploits. He saved many Bosma at Ninglinir, or so I hear. You should ask him about it. I feel better having warned King Nantharian about the dangers posed by the recollection. Now, let's go find that cart. Oh, and I know you want to ask about Ninglinir Pass. Can we save that for later? It's somewhat embarrassing. You were in there for a while? What did Nantharian have to say? The Count doesn't know Nantharian. He and his wood elves showed up right after the new forest appeared without so much as a by your leave. Is it any wonder the Count doesn't trust him? Did Nantharian say anything about the recollection? Not involved. Of course he'd say that. As for reporting to Nantharian, that depends on what we find. I serve Count Calantius and the Legion, not some self-declared king. Let's meet at the spot the green speaker indicated and go look for that seed. Seems like a burn started from there. Which is slightly weird. Yeah. 
If you have a weapon, I need a hand. Ah, my comrade from Rustwall. What luck. I need your help once again. Do you hear the sounds of combat? The fight for Feldegard Keep already rages. When I learned of an impending attack, I raced to warn them. But I arrived too late. Daedric forces seek to overwhelm the Legion cohort defending the Keep. The Legionaries here are capable, but there's something about this attack. We can't let the Keep fall. I need to get inside and help them. In addition to defending the major roads to the north and east, its proximity to the devastated area and the new forest make it integral to the protection of the Wheeled Heartland. What say you? Care to take a Legion commission and help me end this? We need to take stock of the situation before we head inside. Stumbling into a fight blindly never ends well. There's an overlook east of the keep. Locals usually run a small market there. We can get a good view of the keep from that location. The Legion built the keep late in the first era as part of Riemann Cyrodiil's initial Imperial expansion. It's seen quite a few battles over the centuries. Now we use it to protect the trade roads and to keep an eye on the new forest. I tried to convince Count Calantius to assign- I did a little scouting before you arrived and immediately ran into a squadron of Daedra. Breach the wall. Let's talk strategy, comrade. Damn! The Daedrab surrounded the keep and breached the fort's outer wall. The situation is worse than I thought. We need to get in there and help them. The legionaries barricaded the area past the breach. Can't go through there. There's a side entrance to the southwest. It's obscured by overgrowth, so there's a good chance it hasn't been noticed. We'll try that way. Then we find Commander Marion. Marion commands the troops stationed at Feldegard. He's stubborn, but has an excellent tactical mind. He'll know exactly how we can help once we get in there. The door is recessed between a gap and some rocks. I wouldn't call it a hidden entrance, but it's easy to miss if you don't know about it. I'll point it out. Once inside, we'll find Commander Marion. He'll tell us how we can help. Tough as forged iron and sharp as a rapier. I've seen him devise amazing strategies and accomplish seemingly impossible tactics. He loves Colovia and will defend it with everything he's got. With him in charge, those Daedra are in for a fight. They're climbing over the walls! Uh, we can't! Ah! Tribune, praise the gods, we can use your help. He's up on the wall. How can Stendar's we blood, it's good to see you. We need all the swords we can get. And anyone traveling with Tribune Alea is always welcome in a fight. Those Daedra are pummeling us. I need something done to hold them back. The most immediate threat is that they are slipping in all over the keep. I need to contain them in one spot if I'm going to bring my forces to bear. If we slow their progress and cut off their entry points, they'll regroup at the breach in the wall. Since my soldiers are up to their ears in Daedra, you're gonna slow down the assault. Go around the keep and reset some traps that we planted. As you do that, burn the ropes those Daedra are using to climb over the walls. You'll have to cut down an enemy or two, no question. But your primary objective is to reset those traps and burn those ropes. My legionaries can handle the rest. After that, meet me in the main courtyard. If you have, we need to cut off their access points and slow down their advance through the keep. 
Since they're using ropes to scale the wall, they are Daedra. They look funny, smell weird, and don't give a damn about dying. Call themselves Shardborn, but otherwise haven't made any demands. If they have legs. If they have legs. <laughs> yeah, point. Apparently they are didn't even know Daedra could climb ropes. Ropes ropes are made from gasoline. Careful. You need those hands to fight. <laughs> All the ropes I can see. Good work. For the Shard Marshal! For Mirabor! They'll breach the courtyard soon. Blasted clever Daedra. Meet me in the courtyard! <laughs> we'll guard this passage and fend off any Daedra. The courtyard is through those doors. Tribune, get that ballista in working order. Mercenary, you get the fun part. I get to shoot. those barricades would hold longer. Those blasted Daedra broke through when our backs were turned and damaged our last ballista. My legionary set up another barricade, but it may not last for long. That's where you come in, mercenary. Yeah, I, I remember, like, uh, this game has had ballistas from, from the start. But mo you are using only them in PvP, so I recall, like, one uh, quest from Somerset where P uh, ballista was used. If the Daedra can't get close to the barricade, they and, can't um, knock it down. It was a so we'll set it on fire. My legionaries already brought up oil. I need you to pour it over the barricade. Soak it well, then come back here. Tribune Alea will repair the ballista while you douse the barricade in oil. Once it's ready, launch a flaming bolt into the oil and set it ablaze. That should hold their advance and create a kill zone. After that, use the ballista at will. I gave you an order, mercenary. Get to it. Grab that oil that's behind you first. I'll walk you through everything else. No plan is ever certain. And we don't have time for maybes and whatabouts. I didn't become a commander in the Imperial Legion by second-guessing myself, and I won't be questioned by a hired mercenary. Now get to it. Well, grab that bucket of oil first. That sounded like a real commander. Now pour the oil around the barricades. I see two legionaries trapped outside the barricade. That did it! Now arm that ballista, target the oil, and set it ablaze. That should hold them back. Now crush those Watch. Daedra! Oops. Oh 
Okay, now now what? Target the burning cart. Take them out. Better luck next time. Oh, wait. Yeah, what I'm supposed to... F I, I don't know what, what I'm supposed to fire next. Kill the first wave of Daedra. the Daedra Legionnaires. Can't, can't see actually. You want a tie. Okay, so they, they were there. Nice can't can't see standing. actually. Get ready for the next wave. <laughs> they didn't do anything just that standard there. There's too many Daedra. Keep it up. I see another wave approaching. through the north door with me comrade <laughs> Nice idea, but didn't work out uh, work out as well as it should have been. And there were no threats, so we crushed the Daedra's frontal assault and stopped them from getting past the barricade. But the ones who emerged from the barracks, where did living quarters? The barracks extend beneath the keep, and a dungeon is below that. I'm not sure how the Daedra could get in down there, but we should take a look. There's one more curious thing about this assault. Where's the Daedric commander? This attack is much too coordinated to not have a leader. Find the commander, and maybe we can sever the head of this army. Let's search the barracks for another breach. And keep watch for any Daedra that looks to be in charge. papers or something. Yeah! Fuck! Fuck! 
Check, check every corner. If there's like new books, that would be great. Okay, she, she was searching something. So they that tunneled into armory. Down. Keep low. Go! Take your forces and capture the keep. I will gather reinforcements in Miramore. As you command, Shard Marshal Vargas. We need to talk, comrade. That's a Vargas. I wondered when Shard Marshal Vargas would turn up again. I still owe her for Rustwall. And she has a new sword. Did you see how it opened a portal? Brought in reinforcements from some place she called Miramore. We need to take that blade. Usually I'd leap the railing and rush into battle. But who knows what else that blade can do? I'd rather not be turned into a mud crab or something. Let's split up. If we attack her from two sides, we'll split her focus. Then we can take her down. Go around the side to that gateway across from here. I'll distract the commander, then you attack and grab the blade. It's important we do this before she opens another portal. If reinforcements come through, we'll have a bigger fight on our hands. I could still leap this railing and rush her if you think that would work. No, let's stick with the yeah. plan I outlined. Once you're in position, Frontal the gateway, charge. I'll distract the shard marshal. Yeah, not always the let's do this. Good, good idea. Some. Some Morris. Some oblivion play. Oh no. I'll tackle her in. Follow us. An attack? You dare. Okay, she tackled her into the portal. Good. Okay. <laughs> Landed on her feet. Kill them, my shardborn! Recover abolisher! Give her more. This is interesting. The shardborn are endless mortals! <laughs> Abolisher. 
Sure. A Polisher will be mine again, mortals. We shall definitely meet again. Boy, the Ash Blade. Yeah, it's it's a fla flameberg. Flameberg. Flame blade. Looks like a Dun Dunmer blade. Yeah, why not? Dun boy, the was the basically a Daedric ruler of the rest the Dane, so why not? Perhaps the battle out here appears to be over except for a few straggling Daedra. Are we in the clear? What did you find in the barracks? And how did you wind up emerging from a portal? Portals under the keep. Well, that's an unexpected tactic. But I'm glad you and the Tribune took care of it. Without reinforcements, the remaining Daedra shouldn't pose too much of a problem for my legionaries. Yeah, because the problem with the... Uh, and, and this is what we actually met, uh, noticed in a, in a uh, black... black uh, Blackwood as well is that the rules of making a portal is that you need to know the place. So if you don't know the place, you can't make a portal there. Usually, it's it's combined to some high magical place you can connect to, or be, between uh, realms. You need to you need to know the data name of the realm. But in, in the Mundus nerd. Um, yeah, that's pretty hard to make a portal to somebody's cellar without without actually finding yourself inside the rock. As safe as can be expected, we are a military installation after all. We'll wipe out the remaining Daedra, then begin rebuilding the keep. I expect Tribune Alea will want a final word or two with you before you go. After this beating, who can say? Daedra don't behave in any rational way that I ever noticed. But we'll shore up the barricades, rebuild the wall. And there's always my tried and true methods. Fire and traps. Always go with proven tactics, I say. Okay, he likes fire and traps. I can't thank you enough for saving me from those Daedra. When they came rushing down the hill, I thought I was a dead man. Then a ballista bolt landed right on top of them. Your targeting was impeccable. Legionary Larissus and I were sent to scout, try to get eyes on the enemy. We were on our way back when the Daedra attacked. I'm sure glad you were operating the Ballista. Not sure if any of the Legionaries could have cleared the field like you did. Yeah, you very unclear situation. You didn't hesitate to leap through the portal after me. You do this sort of thing pretty regularly, don't you? Pretty much. Shard Marshal Vargas got away, though. That's on me. I swear I'll get her next time. But that place... The sky looked like cracked glass. Mirrormore. What a desolate place. Did the Shardborn come from there? Maybe Baragon or Laramil can tell us more. We should also have them examine the blade. What did Vargas call it? Abolisher. Huh. Would it be alright if I took the sword to them? I'll help bury the dead and then take Abolisher to Skingrad. Maybe Laramil or Baragon can make sense of it. I want you to know I appreciate your help here, comrade. Take this and consider your commission with the Legion over. For now. A good officer gives credit <laughs> where credit reward. is due. You did good, comrade. Veldegard Keep needs to rebuild and do some cleanup, but we repelled an invasion and gained a valuable tool. Not bad for a day's work. If only I could shake this feeling. A sense that things are going to get worse before they get better. Recollection cultists prowling the region, Daedra boldly attacking the keep, magical blades that open portals as easily as I can open a door. Something bigger is coming. I know it. Here we can't. <laughs> okay, there's open portal here. It thinks. Yeah. Over here! There's Hope Root. Something isn't right. The sentries would. Something funny is going on. Nantharian told us to come find him in Hope Root if we learned anything about the Wildburn Seed. 
but the sentries at the gate refused to let us in. Tribune Alea and I had to back off before it came to blows. That would be hard. This place is more of a fortress than a settlement. Fortunately, Tribune Alea came up with a plan. Not a particularly sophisticated plan, but I think it will work. I wonder if she's going to jump in another teleport. Well, Portal. Tribune Alea crept back to the gate. She's waiting for you there. She lures away the sentries, then we run up and enter when they chase her. Which sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. Someone doesn't want us to get to the king, so make your way to the throne room and find Nantharian. I imagine it's in the upper levels of the tree fort. I've got a grapple bow. I'll uh, stay up in the branches and scout for you. Got it? No, no, he has the nice toy. Which we could use only like a, some, a few times. And couple couple deals is ago and then then developers kind of forget that they have that kind of toy I suppose it's it needs a scripting a lot of scripting so not that universal this game doesn't have a uh, platforming sequences like a guild wars or uh, fantasy f uh, ff14 Over here. Be ready. I'm going in. Listen, you. I want answers from Nantharian, and I want them now. She came back? Seize her! Because we kind of didn't, didn't. Okay, that's that's what what they eat. Let's see meal. Okay, insects and meatballs and larvae. Okay, that that's a bossman cuisine, apparently, or at least this this recollection. Fellows. I wonder if they are growing uh, inside of the house, the rooms, this way. Okay. That was interesting. Did we check this already? Here, comrade. There's a damn recollection army in here. Nantharian must be a prisoner in his own settlement. Keep your eyes open for any information about the recollection's plans. More, more interested to loot than actually, actually following the story. <laughs> Slightly cheesy, but doesn't work on big enemies, so they're rolling and then then falling down. We're above the gate, but no sign of Baragon. What's he up to? Well,
I think he's found something. Over here. This must be a recollection command post. No sign of the king, but the map and notes might be important. Take them, friend. Okay, to this a location to attack. Check. Keep going, friends. We can't let the recollection take the king hostage. Maybe the king is part of the they recollection. Probably already got him. I doubt Mantharian sentries could fight off a recollection army. But, yeah. Actually, Elder Scrolls Online already did that. Put that on us. The previous uh, expansion, so. I don't like it. Like if if that's the case, I was the evil mastermind all all along. That's their altar. I was just taking picture, but. Whatever. Not just Made about wood. claiming what was lost. This is about our heritage. Soon Dawnwood will spread and drive out those Colovian bastards. didn't see this area in uh, oblivion not not fully at least so it could be that this uh, jungle will persist okay that's that's <laughs> that's weird that shawl, there's something strange about it Going tavern. That stone you carried triggered a vision. How did you do that? Who was the woman? I, I think this is good that your companions actually react to what happens and not like mm, nothing happened. Incredible. That was a Daedric prince? She didn't seem all that powerful or scary. In fact, she appeared to be disoriented. So why was that important? What exactly was that a memory of? The many paths? Sounds important, but I don't know anything about it. But there's a tavern not far from here, called the Outcast Inn. You should check it out when we're done here. Let's keep going. If the Echoneer has more to show us, let me know. That's actually normal, how normal people react to Daedric Princess, so... I, I think this is... 
shows shows good writing at, at times. Maybe, but it's up to us to earn those promised rewards. We'll have to fight for them. Yeah, fight then. Like another wild burn seed. Someone's coming. Get down. Here. The seed for Skingrad is ready, my king. Bring it to my throne room. Vargas and I will perform the final ritual and send the seed on its way. Ah, okay, he, he was the leader. We serve the same prince. As long as I lead the recollection, the Shardborn will aid us. Yes, my king. I knew it. Nantharian leads the recollection, and the prince they serve must be Athelia. Get to the throne room. Circle around and hit them from the back. The recollection had someone close. After the wild bird passes, the entire wheel. Yes. Every bad guy needs a needs a fortress or a politician. You you could think an Natharian is a politician. I need the staff of many paths in your care, Nantharian. Use it well. Gah! Your tree has pests! Greenspeaker Sorlin, deal with the intruders. They must not interfere with the ritual. Vargas, help friend. me prepare the scene. For his sake, I will dispatch you quickly. Okay, now we fight the storyline. Hammer time. <laughs> it's blew up. <laughs> the ritual is not complete. Something's wrong. It's too soon. The wild bird seed released its energy too early. Run! Run! Follow Nantharian. The wild bird seed. It released its energy when you destroyed it. Hope root is doomed.
Well, by the green, the wild bone seed destroyed Hope Root. Hope Root? A pretty name for an ugly secret. <laughs> and a grim tomb for green speaker Sorolin. Friend, we should talk. That was close. But at least we destroyed the seed and this recollection fortress. But I hope things would turn out differently for Greenspeaker Sorolin. I wish I knew what drove her into the arms of the recollection and their mad leaders. We'll find them again. We dealt them a serious defeat here at Hoperoot. They'll need to regroup with recollection forces elsewhere. That will cost them time. That staff. Fargus called it the Staff of Many Paths. She entrusted it to Nantharian. Right. Well, back to my townhouse, friend. Give me the map we found. I want to examine it. And we should consult with Laramil, if she's back from her mysterious errand. It's clear Athelia's Daedra are helping the recollection. We need to know why. You two go ahead. I need to report to Count Calanthius. I'll catch up with you later. I'm something of an expert in codes and ciphers. Whatever message is hidden in the map we found, I'll figure it out. But I'll need some things back at my townhouse for that. I'll see you in Skingrad, my friend. Red circle on the map doesn't need uh, much of much of figuring out. Okay. Fine. All right, that was interesting. We blew up <laughs> one, one, Hilden, uh, one grand oak, or that was coming, becoming a grand oak. In interesting. Right, that's that's enough for today. Uh, we had two games, two games. Um, first one, I'll make two with the new expansions, and then the Sellers Cross Online Cold Road was fun. I probably will stream tomorrow about challenge. We have this game challenge with the, with the friend, not the dark. So that's coming up.